Podcast Space. It's your girl Joy and Bobby. Bobby. Ladies and gentlemen, we're introducing Bobby Basil. She's back in the house. That's too much. <laughs> so what happened was, I love a good burger. Those of you who know me know I like to eat, honey. Okay. I like my food. I feel like I'm a big girl trapped in a, in a, in a smaller body. That's. What I'm you want to go out to eat somewhere let's go i am your girl okay and don't be eating like a bird we we eating okay you need to invite me to the barbecue so anyway i saw this guy right and he was saying that papa's barbecue is papa's barbecue only in texas papacitos is that just a texas thing i want to say it is but i could be wrong I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. So anyway, if you in Texas, Papa's barbecue is good. Papa seafood, Papa Cito's. Papa Do's. That's a seafood one. Papa Do's. So they have seafood. They got Mexican. They have barbecue. So they have it all. The Papa's got the corner on lock. You hear me? So this guy, he was like, you, you got to get the hamburger. And it's really not a hamburger joint. You go there for like the pulled pork or the brisket. Oh, baby, my favorite is the chopped barbecue beef fries. Good. You hear me? Good. We arrived to Papa's Barbecue and we got the burger. So we're about to test this burger out. And then we got some cheese fries. And then I got some of their ranch. Baby, it's a lot of work. This one out. This car, this car is not really set up, set up that well, okay? So, can you see these? Wait, wait. See those fries? Okay. So those are the fries. I think it has like the cheese sauce up on there. That's that's what it has. The cheese sauce. Okay. And then I got their ranch. You know, some places you go, they have good ranch or they don't have good ranch. They got that good good ranch. And then I got some. <coughs> We may not be able to do this video now. Somebody is next to us blasting their music. Sir. Oh, this is a motorcycle guy. Like, oh, it was a motorcycle. Okay. All right. But thanks for that little interlude. We appreciate that. So, baby, this is the burger. It's big. Huge. Huge. It is huge. Baby, look at that. That's two hands. <laughs> you got to hold it with two hands. Why you look like that? That big burger. Look at that. 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 Ooh. Onion. Mm. Look at that. Let's 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 open it. Let's open the lid, baby. Let's open. Pull, let's oh, let's open the top. Open the top. Ooh. Okay. It's looking like a lot of stuff, not a lot of burger. I thought there was on that bite right here. Oh, you want that bite? Yeah. I'll let you go on and get the first bite. Go, go on. Ahead. No, go on. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Here you go. She's going in, y'all. This is a good bite. Oh, that's the bacon. Right, because the there. bacon's sticking out right there. And then the I'm going in, y'all. Ooh, she dripping a little. No, she not. She what? It did not go easy with the mustard. There's a lot of mustard. Okay. Papa's barbecue. Can I put onion on here? Hmm? Can I put that onion on here? Mm-hmm. So, I got onion. Put onion. That's too much onion for you? Because it tastes like watercress. Okay, you want the next bite? Okay. Mm.
That French fry with the ranch? Oh, you took that bite with the ranch? That was a good bite? Baby, let me tell you, and you know, I'm not gonna tell you wrong. Mama Bass, I'm not gonna tell you wrong, okay? I'm gonna tell you like it is, okay? This is a good burger. It's a good burger. I'm trying to compare it to Five Guys. Five Guys is a good burger. I feel like you can't compare them though. Why is that? My bite was some ranch, y'all. Because <laughs> Five Guys is like a smash patty. Right? No. They're not? Uh oh. That's a burger. Alright, y'all. Get that bite right there. Mmm. I would definitely come back, get the burger, less mustard. Yeah, it's too much mustard for me. It has a lot of mustard. Mm -hmm. But outside of that, that's a good burger. So if you ever in the Houston, Texas area, are you in the mood for a good burger? Go past McDonald's, drive right on by, and you want to get you a Papa's barbecue burger. Baby, I wouldn't lie to you. If I'm lying, I'm flying. And y'all know I can't fly. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You done? You can have more bobby. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Baby. Mm, mm, mm. Papa's barbecue. I'm gonna get you the burger. The chopped barbecue beef fries. Good. It's weird, but they also sell, this is kind of new, fried catfish. Baby, the catfish good. Why do you think that's weird? Because it's a barbecue, barbecue place. place. Yeah, this is new. The catfish is new. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. It's good. Mm-hmm. Or... The big potato, baby. Oh, yeah, the big potato. Good. You can have the potato for two days. The baked potato is fire. Mm hmm. Mm. You know, you want another bite, dog. Mm -mm. Okay, so how's your job going? Bobby's house sitting this week. What does house sitting consist of? Well, I'm housing for two different people this weekend. Make your coin, make your coin. It's a mother and a daughter, and they're both going to the same place, so they asked me to house it for both of them. And um, can you tell the difference between daughter's house and mama's house? Definitely. Um, so I'm house sitting for the both of them. And um, I am house sitting, but I'm also dog sitting. 
So it's kind of a two-in-one. It's more of a dog sitting thing, but I stay at the house. Mm -hmm. Cause the dogs like company. Living the life of luxury, honey. Yep, yep. To say the least. Um, but I've been doing that this weekend, and then also I'm gonna babysit tonight. So doing a lot. Oh, the first time I, cause before I started house sitting for the mother I went to the house so she could show me where everything was really quickly and when I got there the dog greeted me at the door but the dog was with the mother and so the dog greeted me at the door which is normal like whenever you go to somebody's house the dog will always run to the door pretty much unless they're trained well, they stop barking. Well. yeah um and so the next the following day when I went to check on the dog for the first time that day. She left me a note. And when I walked in the house, the dog wasn't there. The dog didn't run to the door to greet me. And I couldn't find the dog anywhere. And I would call for the dog, but I couldn't find the dog anywhere. And so I was a little nervous, but I was in there and I eventually found the dog. He ended up walking out from a corner or something. <laughs> um, but I was reading the note and it was about two pages long, like not full pages, but like little notepad. And on the second page at the bottom, she was like, oh, and by the way, the dog can't hear at all. Like, at all. Just FYI. And I was like, I was like, that makes so much more sense now. But I would have thought she would have mentioned it the first time I met the dog. But in the note, she was just like, oh, and by the way, like, Marley can't hear. Like, at all. Just FYI. <laughs> and I was like, okay. I mean, not a problem, but it was just like. I just thought it was funny because I'm not very, it was just unconventional for the, for a dog not to run to the door. Mm-hmm. And so I just thought it was funny, but. Well, I met Marley today. Cute and sweet as a button. I wanted to take him with me. He was so sweet, so friendly. Yeah, he had a lot of. Because I took him yesterday to the other dog's house that I'm watching. And I think he thought we were going back. And so he ran up to the car to go. But, which is weird because the, uh, the two dogs don't really get along. Like, Marley likes his alone time. <laughs> but, very cute dogs. Marley probably likes the car ride. Mm-hmm. That's what I was thinking. Mm-hmm. This was good, y'all. Last bite. Mm. Trying to save that. Okay. You ever watch a young kid? And you're trying to tease somebody? And you take little, little bites until it's all gone? You ever do that to one of your brothers or something? Mm Mm -mm. Mm. The secret to a man's heart is what? Food. Very bad. That's the same for me. Feed me, honey. <laughs> Some good food, good dinner. Me and baby, I'm on the way to heaven. That's my maybe that's my love language is food. Whether we're going out to eat or I'm cooking, baby, better come with an appetite. That's all I'm saying because you know it's gonna be good. Y'all already know, right? Y'all know to Google me, right? Google me, boo. I make everything good. Burger was fire. Mm. This will probably be my only meal for the day. Maybe I want a snack. How about you? I have a feeling the family that I'm babysitting for will get me dinner, so. Mm hmm. And that kids are so adorable. They are. So, Sydney, she usually babysits for this family. 
and they treat Sydney like their daughter. Don't they? They treat her. But you know, things like that, it doesn't make me feel insecure or like Sydney loves me less. You always want people that are gonna love your children and treat your children as though they're their own. So stuff like that, it really doesn't bother me. Especially if you're confident in who you are, you know, how you've parented, and if they feel as though they want to love that person more, go ahead, do you, do what makes you happy. Okay, don't hurt my feelings none because I know what I sacrificed, what I put in. So, if more people love my kids, the better. But it's about also being confident in who you are as a parent. Period. It is what it is. What do you think about that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, luckily, all my children have been blessed with people who have treated them like their own at certain degrees or certain levels um, in their lives. And even Bobby's boyfriend, um, his mother loves her to pieces. <laughs> and I remember with my first marriage, a mother-in-law loved me to pieces love me she was sitting here on her lap and to this day I still say I was the favorite because they got married many 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 years later and that didn't work out but I still say I was a favorite so I still talk to my ex sister in law here and there and I was like you know I was the, you know I'm the favorite she was like yeah you are <laughs> mm -hmm. they love me to pieces and then you have some other situationships they don't like you at all but you know to each his own but once again be confident in who you are as a person and your work doesn't matter what other people think I mean it's great when they think positive but if they don't that's their problem not yours next hmm? mm -hmm. all right y'all we're gonna get out of here so she can get to her babysitting gigs you know she got like 15 jobs that she's working an internship, house sitting, dog sitting, babysitting. Yeah, I'm on your Jamaican with 99 job. <laughs> she got 99 job. She needs to pay some of these 99 bill. <laughs> <coughs> All right, y'all. Until I hope you enjoyed this video. But if you're ever in the Texas area. Honey, make sure you stop by Papa's Barbecue. If this is not sponsored, it would be great if it was, but it's not. Okay, y'all hear me? Y'all got speakers around me, okay? Okay!